Hello everyone and welcome back to my how to build a church tutorial part 3 now. Um, what I'd like to say first is um, when I did the recordings for the first two videos part 1 and 2 what I didn't actually realise was that there was no sound coming through for uh, part 1. So essentially it's like a silent tutorial build which I do apologise in advance um, because I had absolutely no idea that there wasn't any sound that was actually coming through that video. So if you guys would like me to do a, um, a run through commentary of that first part and put out part one again with a commentary uh, basically explaining everything that I've done on this build so far I'm more than happy to do that. Uh, so if you want to leave any comments just give me suggestions what you'd like me to do uh, or maybe you don't want me to do anything and you say you know what it's fine you know it was nice and peaceful having a quiet uh, observation of a uh, tutorial with no sound no uh, <laughs> nobody actually speaking over the video um, and maybe the visual step-by-step -step guide was enough uh, but anyway just just let me know and I'll um, and I will basically comply with whatever you request so I just want to put that out there first before I start part three also I have my gorgeous and beautiful lovely son upstairs with me so if you do hear him in the background sounding a little bit distressed and disgruntled I do apologize he's just basically saying hello I'm feeling very sad because daddy's not giving me any attention today so you could say I am babysitting my own son and trying to do a video at the same time because as it has been uh, a few days since I last done a video. So without further ado let's get into part three. This is our building so far. As you can see I've been doing a little bit of work off camera. I've been doing a bit of work on the tower that as you can see um, the shape and the structure is really coming on very nicely and I'm very impressed with how this building's looking. Yes! It's looking good, rather great, isn't it, darling? Yeah! It's looking wonderful! <laughs> That's my son giving me uh, useful tips and guidance, as always. So, yeah, as you can see, the shape of it, I'm very happy. I love this, um, how this arched window has turned out. Um, what I've done, I've filled in on this side and um, I think parts on the other two sides as well so I will be able to actually show you how I have done this design. What I've done also is I've replaced the central column which was made out of cobblestone with brickstone so that um, it sort of fits in with the theme of this framework around the window uh, that I've done. Uh, and also I've put in these uh, brick stone blocks in as well just to break up the cobblestone uh, and as you can see I've built out the um, supports as well so all this bit here I will show you what I've done um, so that you don't feel confused or a little bit lost as to where you are in terms of this build if you are copying this uh, <coughs> this building uh, that I'm uh, designing for you out of my head <laughs> so yeah also what we've done we've done the arch on the inside as well so when I mean the arch I mean the frame uh, of the windowsill so it comes out a block on the interior as well as the exterior of the building as well and what I've done I've linked up the well it's kind of like the frame, the border frame um, of the windows on all four sides so that it creates this arch which meets in the middle and to do this it is very very simple all you need once when you've built this frame which I'm going to show you how to do in a second you basically place one block of stone there and you go up diagonally until you find the central point which is the middle point which is where all four sides meet and underneath that all you do is just place upside down stair blocks all the way down until you meet the side face of the frame 
and you do that on all four sides so I'll leave it there so you can take a look at that for a moment so you can see how this design works for the arch because I'm not going to take it apart and build it again because I'll just be wasting time doing that I'd rather get on with the build so I can actually show you what I've been doing with the walls and the windows and the framework which I have left two sides open um, so I can give you a demonstration now I've already mentioned it has been a few days since uh, I last did um, any work to this church so I'm gonna have to try and remind myself what I have done uh, so it looks like yeah we'll place an upside down stair block there and then it's a normal block there what have we done have we gone down two blocks looks like it so we've gone down one two and then we've gone is it out of block here yeah. so we go a block across so we'll get our cobblestone cobblestone block across back to your stone brick and we're going to go down is it just the one or the two no we're going to go down two so select your stone bricks and we're going to go down two like that okie dokie and I'm guessing that is cobblestone yes it is place a cobblestone brick to the side and it looks like we run all the way down pretty much to the bottom with stone bricks so let's go <clears throat> a bit of the way down to the floor uh, and then we'll find out where we need to stop uh, is that about right? that's perfect actually one, two, three. So we've got a brick there, brick there. Okay. Oh yeah, that's where the uh, the glass sits for the window. That's fine. Uh, and it looks like that's cobblestone, isn't it? Yeah. So what we'll do now, we'll fill in this gap here that we've left with cobblestone brick because essentially what we've done here we've used the stone brick to create the border for the window for where the glass is going to go so that it breaks up the pattern um, of the cobblestone walls uh, because I feel just it makes makes the building a lot more interesting if you look at um, a church or any building in particular the materials that they use, especially the old build, old style buildings, they don't use the same type of um, stone or brick all the way around for the building. So where you've got um, the frames of arches uh, for the windows and doors, they tend to use a different style brick to basically break up the pattern. And that's essentially what we're doing here uh, as well. Now we're using cobblestone there, is it? It looks like it so all this we can fill in with cobblestone underneath like that and run along the bottom so you should have something that looks like that right now okay fantastic right you're going to take your stone brick stairs and you're going to run along is it three yes yeah, three not four one two three with your stone brick stairs that creates a kind of a a ledger of sill it, yeah it creates that basically don't know what I'm talking about which is often the case and then underneath your stone stairs place another row of cobblestone and then at the base we're going to be surrounding the edge of the cobblestone with stone brick stairs so we'll go that way and then two across so it should look the same as this here and here okay now you're going to take your stone bricks and we're going to go up how high 
have a look. Oh, slow. To here. Yeah. So we use that as our marker. And you're going to run your stone bricks all the way down, all the way up to that point. That is going to be creating the uh, the border, the frame. Well, it's not the frame, is it? It's, it's, it's like a an extended frame. Yeah, it is a frame, isn't it? Yeah, a border frame around the window arch, just to give it a little bit extra shape. So here, we're just going to mimic this design here. So you're going to use a, an upside down stair brick there. And then there's a, uh, a stone brick stair to the side. So if you go to the side of the arch there, place your stair block there. Then you're going to need a full block stone brick. Then place an upside down stair brick back to your stone brick. I'm going to go up two. Select your stone brick stairs. Don't forget to place one on top on this corner here. So it should look like that at the moment. Yep. Place an upside down stair block there. And then at the side there's going to be one two. See so frame should look like that on the outside. That is just the exterior frame. We've got to do the interior one as well. So what we'll do we might as well fill in this gap with our glass panes. So we're gonna go one, two, three, one, two, three, uh, one, two, three. If you want to use a different colored uh, glass pane it's entirely up to you. If you want to use different colors uh, or a, a set color pattern you please feel free to do so. Um, I've just using the uh, the bog standard uh, glass pane windows that you'd see uh, in most buildings. I'm just using this particular color for the benefit of this uh, tutorial. So if you want to use different colors you can do. There's no uh, right or wrong way about doing uh, this build in terms of the glass. So when you look at that now that looks rather good doesn't it from the outside wouldn't you agree yeah that's looking fantastic right now we shall go to the interior and we need to do the same on the inside so we need to go back to our stone bricks have a quick look to see what we've done. Uh huh. So it looks like we've filled all this up with stone bricks till we get to this level here. And then we use three stone brick stairs. And then on this edge here, we're going to go quite a way up. I'm not sure how high we need to go. We'll see if we can follow the border of the inner edge. Um, yeah, it looks like it. And what we're doing here instead, the pattern's slightly different. We're going to be placing a stair block there. So, uh, hmm. yeah, pattern's different. Then on the opposite side, place an upside down stair block. Get your full stone brick, place that on top. Get another stone brick stair, repeat the process on the opposite side. It's an upside down stair block. And here, what we're going to do, hmm, get rid of that block, place a cobble one there. That's better. Stone brick stair block there, and one on top, like that, and that has created the interior frame. So that matches that side, and what will be this side as well. So I, I did think, uh, depending how quickly I'd get through 
building that window arch I'd leave this one here just in case you want to see it again but if you feel I've gone a little bit too fast for you on uh, the window arch there just um, you can always freeze or pause the game and go back as many times or as forward as many times as you want so that you can copy this design and this applies to every single window frame so this one I've done here it applies to this side here mirrored and the same for this side here and here and these two okay so glad we cleared that part up along the top here just before I forget as well what I've done I've placed let's get rid of these and that as well I placed some cobblestone stairs because the tower has gone in a block on all four sides we need to try and blend the two sort of segments of the tower and li link them up together so all I've done is gone along the top of the, uh, the lower part of the tower with cobblestone steps and where there's a stone brick stair uh, well, well where, where there's a stone brick column I've placed a stone brick stair on top uh, and except for this side here where I've placed a stone brick block and I think I've done it on the other four uh, three sorry middle points yes I have so your middle row place a stone brick block as opposed to a stair and then just follow your pattern all the way around with your cobblestone stairs and then the columns here here and then the others around there using the uh, stone brick stairs I think that has made sense uh, failing that just freeze pause the game and then just have a look just to see what I've done uh, so for your benefit here I'm just flying around the building now so that you can see what I've done okay that's cleared that part up what we're going to do now um, now we're entering um, brainstorming territory now because I've not really thought about what I'm going to be doing next um, yeah we touched upon the artist on the last episode the central columns that was it this one here and this one here I feel it's slightly impeding on the view um, when you actually come in through the entrance which is going to be down there which is which is what we're going to build in uh, one of the future episodes your view is going to be um, obstructed by these central pillars here I mean they do look okay they do look good but that's not really kind of the uh, the result that I was looking for and was hoping for so what I've been toying with the idea of is removing these columns and actually trying to um, incorporate a uh, an alternative design plan uh, maybe building a lower arch uh, as a support uh, to keep up the, uh, the framework of the building I mean it's Minecraft anything stay, stays up but you want to give the impression that it is structurally sound so I think what we're going to do is um, yeah I think that could work possibly so this level here we're going to remove this column here so we don't need that leave that in the floor that's fine and then what we're going to do let's have a look okay yeah what we're going to do let's try this design so uh, uh, I don't know Hmm. Two cobblestone stairs that way and that way. We'll try this this idea first. 
place two upside down stair ones. Oh, is that going to work? No, I don't think it is. Cobblestone. We'll try the cobblestone. See how we get on with the cobblestone brick. I just think that's going to be the wrong way. Hmm. It's not going to look right, is it? Let's just roll with it for the time being. Let's just do one side and see how it looks. Even if I absolutely hate it, we can always take it out and do something else with it. Uh, no, don't like that. Put in a full block there. Then what we could do is get rid of that cobblestone block, place upside down stairs there and there. Oh, now it looks like we're getting something. Okay, and with that, get rid of that cobblestone block, that cobblestone block, and replacing them with upside down stair blocks. And hey, you know what? That could work. That could definitely work. I'm rolling with that. Okay, so let's let's do the same with this side. So we place a stair block there, cobblestone block underneath. Get your cobblestone stairs again, and again underneath a cobblestone brick, and then another one to the side to join up to the wall. What we're going to do now? cobblestone stair underneath get rid of that block there replace it with a stair get rid of this block replace it with a stair get rid of that block and replace it with a stair so now you should end up with something that looks like that looks a little weird but you know I suppose what we could do here get rid of them two blocks place upside down stair block there like that so it doesn't look too weird and you know what that works that central that central column there that works I feel it does anyway um, so when we look at that from the ground it's got rid of this central column here so now you can actually see all the way to the end well eventually once when we get rid of this uh, column as well We'll be laughing, so we'll uh, we'll get rid of this one as well. Um, hmm. Okay, yeah, we'll get rid of that one. So on the same height that we've worked this arch. I think that's the level we're looking at. It is, yep. Get rid of this, because we don't need it. It's just obstructing our view. Okay. And then what we could do... Hmm. We could do the same design. Here and here. So we'll get our cobblestone brick, place it underneath the stairs. Oops, fail. Hmm. And we'll just continue this arch all the way until we link up with this wall here. Maybe this one. I'll be fine. Okie dokie. Because essentially we're going to need that. Hmm. I don't think we're going to need them, are we? It's just the ones underneath that matter. Anyway. Let's roll with this for the time being. We can always change it. So we'll place a cobblestone stair there. Get rid of that full brick replace it with a stair brick, 
get rid of that one, replace it with a stair, so on and so forth. Continue repeating the process until you get to the centre. So now you've got a row of upside down stair bricks. Uh, what we're going to do here as well, we're going to get rid of these stair bricks. I'm going to fill it up with normal cobblestone because there's not a lot else we can do other than fill this wall up. Okay, just fill all this up with cobblestone. I think we may need to change it for brick actually. Yeah, we do. Ooh, that could be interesting. So yeah, <laughs> we filled all that up with cobblestone bricks. Now we need to change it for stone bricks. And what I think what we'll do here as well, just to make it a little bit different, we'll place an upside down, oops, wrong way, an upside down stone brick, like that. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I like that. Let's have a look at that. You see, this is what you've got to think about as well. Because we're filling in the wall here, are we wanting to sacrifice the view that you get walking into the tower? That's what I'm thinking about at this moment. Do I want to sacrifice that view? because it would be a shame. I mean, essentially, you could walk all the way through and it just opens up as you walk in. So then you can have a look round. But I'm thinking, do I really want to be sacrificing part of that view? Um, mm. We'll fill in this side anyway. If I'm not happy with it, I can always take it up a block. Uh, and play around with it, uh, or at least fiddle around with part of it off camera, and then I'll uh, explain what I've done, uh, and try not to get too far ahead so that you can't uh, replicate what I've done. Uh, otherwise, we'd be uh, wasting our time, even doing this tutorial. So. We'll fill in this side, see how it looks. I'll make my mind up whether or not if I want to keep it or not. Um, hopefully I will do. I'll try and convince myself that it will work. And try and uh, justify its purpose. But at the very least, it's going to fill in that awful little gap there, which I, I can't stand. <laughs> um, but we may even bring the arch up a little higher so that it gives you a little bit more of a view of this tower as you enter it uh, let's have a look see how that works mm. ok what I could do here get rid of that place a uh, cobblestone stair brick there. Yeah, that could work. That's fine. I can roll with that. So there you have it. Anyway, that the uh, we've got rid of the two central columns. Might do the same with this one, actually, but I don't know. I might leave it in just to keep it in for effect. But I feel that that has... Um, it's opened up the interior significantly so we can actually do more with the interior as well as it's not going to be obstructing that view that we uh, that particularly want looking forward into the main tower um, so I think what I'm going to do now because I think time's rattling on it is we'll call it here for this video I will finish off this wall here so that the lower part of the tower wall is completed and I think what we'll do in the next episode is we will 
finish off the top part of this tower and uh, fill in the roof and see where we can build a staircase leading up to the top so that you can uh, overlook out at the view of the world as you see it. Mm, nice waterfall there. Um, and there's our little village um, that I was, I've been building on uh, my ASMR channel which um, if you're interested in like ASMR then uh, yeah go and check it out um, I haven't done a video in that for a while so maybe I should do one um, pretty soon so anyway if you have enjoyed watching this uh, third part of this tutorial please smash that like button and um, if you want to see more videos subscribe to the channel as well which uh, would be very much appreciated uh, I Thank you very much for watching this video and I hope to see you again in part 4. Take care everyone and keep buzzing.